So the internet finds husband who ghosted wife and kids in less than 24 hours. Let's look at the original post from her. Fantastic use of the internet, I yes. will say. Uh, says, uh, I'm really about to test the power of Facebook with this one. This is my Facebook. husband, Charles Withers. He loves to be the center of attention, but I'm not sure how much he's going to like this. Last year when I was pregnant with our youngest baby, he decided that being a husband and a dad wasn't the lifestyle he wanted anymore, and he ghosted, like gone, without a trace. He has one baby he has seen in over a year and one he hasn't met uh, that he's never met he's moved somewhere out of state and changed his phone number divorcing someone who's completely this is unreachable, crazy divorcing someone who is completely unreachable is really tough and drawn out so i'm trying to track him down to get his signature on a few papers so i can finally close this chapter of my life and move on isn't this kind of what happened when uh with uh uh the dude from transformers um beyond my wheelhouse i have to say uh, and, and he's like he like in Reddit found something in like less than an hour. Look, I I was mm -hmm. sort of hoping that this guy when I saw this like initial post going viral, I initially was hoping that he was like full am amnesia. He couldn't recognize anything. Like I didn't want it to be that he was just like, oh, I don't like it here. Complete ghost. So he says. Uh, so he says. Uh, she says. I've heard he's going by Charlie now. He's British and charming as. Is AF. He's a chef and probably working in the hospitality industry somewhere. He's probably never mentioned a wife and kid back in Massachusetts. If you know him, you're, if you're working with him, if you're dating him or friends with him, can you please have him get in touch with me or let me know where I can find him? All the girls out there, feel free to share. A friend of a friend of a friend has got to know where he is. Friend so of a friend it, of a friend. it took. Uh, thank you. Uh, it was 4chan, uh, not Reddit. Thank you. Um, 4chan did this no no 4chan did it with the uh, with the the character from with, oh okay yeah. i was hoping for Shia LaBeouf. Also, oh my god the name wasn't coming to me today oh with the with the flag yes. in the video yes, that was that was amazing that was like the best i wish 4chan had also saved this one that would have been even funnier um oh man that was this is gonna be a rough day if i can't remember shia labeouf's name look it's look look we're days. fine okay so in less than 24 hours they were able to find this guy uh <laughs> let's go ahead and look at this uh this video of this lady talking about it it hasn't been 14 hours since Ashley McGuire made a Facebook post asking the world to help find her missing husband, Charlie Withers, who she believes just abandoned his family, two children. It's been a year since he left town, hasn't contacted the family. What the heck, Charlie, where are you? Last thing we know, he had opened a restaurant in Massachusetts where he was the chef, sold a crap ton of gift cards, and then just took the money and closed up shop, leaving all the customers and employees um, out in the dark with unpaid wages and unusable gift cards. A lot of people are like, what in the heck is this foul play? And why isn't she worried about his safety? I don't know the answer to that. It just appears that she kind of knows he's <laughs> abandoned the family. He was a and since the post has been on the internet less than a day and we already have an update, it's kind of looking like that's the case. Texas-based Are We Dating the Same Guy group. This girl's like, I uh, love that that's a dating? group. Because this is what the internet yes. has done this, to us. Yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure I matched with him on Bumble just a few weeks ago. The audacity. I really hope that he is found safely and quickly. But good Lord. This is a wild ride. Okay. Like I said, I, I initially was like, come on, Charlie, have amnesia. Don't be this guy. But instead, apparently he's on Bumble somewhere else. And it is it, it is interesting that, like, that wasn't her concern. She wasn't like, he is missing. She never filed a missing person. Well, did, did he take his clothes with him? To, does yeah. that signal? I mean, like, like, she wasn't like, it's been a year, so I'm going to see if he's missing. Like, she knew I wonder about that intentionally sometimes. left. Like, when people, like, when they say somebody, like, abandoned me, I'm like, how do you know that something didn't just happen to them? Like, is, I guess the, the only way you'd know is if they took their stuff with them. Yes, okay, so two thoughts here. Um, if you listen to, if you're into true crime and you ever listen to the podcast, The Deck, which talks about cold cases, okay. and a lot of them are like, because they're cold cases, they're missing persons, but maybe the person is now presumed dead. And it'll be like, how do you know this person isn't a runaway? Because that's often, especially with young people, how they get classified. And it's like, they didn't take, she didn't take her purse. She didn't take her wallet. She didn't take her ID. We don't think she just disappeared. And like, all the dude needs to do she, is She didn't just even leave. take her shoes. And you're like, oh, maybe this person is like, so it makes me wonder, like there are cases where people don't come back and maybe they're like, oh, he, he left me, but maybe also they just like, something bad happened. I hate to say that, but with this guy, power of the internet amazing that they were just like oh i know exactly where he is I mean, it also the, made me think yeah. about sorry i have okay. many many no, thoughts go, go on for this. It. Uh, there's another podcast called something was wrong mm -hmm. and um i haven't listened to it in a long time but they're, they're they were doing 
it's kind of like a, people call in and she'll anonymize the stories. Mm. But one of the seasons was this girl saying, you know, I had I was dating this guy, and basically I found out he was living a double life, including the fact that he had lied about being British. She had had a kid with him, and like just everything she knew about him was fake, right? Like she's like the kid came out and he didn't he said speak he, in a British accent. No, she she he, this guy was like, I'm a doctor. I work at a local hospital. I'm British, and it turns out he was like. Hispanic, definitely not a doctor, also had like a second family, had had a kid before, like the internet, and they had matched on a dating app. I have this weird fear of dating apps. They they work, I know people have had long and healthy and Mm -hmm. safe relationships with them, but man, the internet's a terrible place. So my my initial thought was like some evil person is gonna use this to track down somebody that they wanna track down to harm. Yeah, it is nefarious. It could be. Like the like like this there's anybody can tell you any story. I'm not saying that's what happened here. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that someday some really diabolical person is gonna be like, uh, this person owes me child support and they and they Right, if you their get kid. your sob story out yeah, first. Dude. But what if it's actually you have a restraining order and like all the stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I guess is that a violation of a restraining order searching for someone on the internet? Like that was the scariest thing to me is like like uh, the internet's already like the most powerful search tool you can find and then you crowdsource it in in more and really really dangerous people have an avenue of crowdsourcing their way to find people that are trying to not be found right because what if it was the opposite what if he was like i'm trying to find my wife like she left and this that and the other and then actually he's like i I don't know it's a good question there was a story that went viral a couple weeks ago where or maybe months a year ago time is so weird uh this girl being like, when I was a kid, we went on vacation. I made best friends with this girl. And like, I just wonder where she is. And the internet found her. And she commented on the post being like, hey, I heard you were looking for me, which is kind of cute, you yeah. know? But also, what if it's just like a stalker? Or like, what if it's, just... what if you don't want to be found by that person? My brain always goes to the worst possible outcome yeah. for something like this. It does speak to the power of the internet. I mean, but and this girl has photos, backups that they were yes. married. They're obviously a couple. Like, this is a very pretty, like, unusual thing to be like, hey, he's been gone for a year. I know he's not, I know nothing bad happened to him. So where is he? Like, with my luck, what would happen is I would forget my wallet the day something bad happens to me. You know? <laughs> you, what do you mean? Like, you, or no, no, like the, the, you like, want to forget yeah, your wallet because then people are like yeah. suspicious, left without the wallet. Yeah. Like, uh, it'd be the, the one day you remember your wallet. Yes, and they're exactly. like, well, he took his wallet, so he must be gone forever. He, he ditched me forever. And really, what it was is that uh, something bad happened to you. I just, uh, I see these stories and I'm like, is the, is the internet really that powerful? It absolutely is. Are there, are there more stories like this? It feels like this would be more common these days. Well, like I said, like there you was said this, you like true crime, right? I like true crime. Yeah. And like I said, there was this podcast uh, that said, sorry, now I feel like I have to check to say that's something. There was this podcast that talked about how this woman had been duped based by someone she had met online. And um, something was wrong. I think it's like semi left leaning maybe, but it is interesting to hear all these things. So mm-hmm. if you're into this kind of like look into human psychology, I definitely re- recommend checking it out. Um, they the stories of people being like, oh, I met someone on an app and they told me all this stuff and I believed them. And then actually it turned out everything was lie. Like I have heard a lot of those Mm -hmm. and some are to a a more extreme scale. With this guy, I don't know if they met on an app, but it is interesting that someone would would just like take off. But he had like a business. He had 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 a business that it seems like he ended in scandal. With employees. And (laughs) then he was just like, I'll see you. Also like this guy has kids. You, You wanna just disappear on your children? Like that seems... He's a bad person. Seems so good to me. Yeah, he seems like a bad person, a, and maybe the internet should find him. Assuming that the assuming that the story is true, that's about. And even it seemed like the lady who made the video was um, kind of uh, like cautioning. She says, "I hope this guy's found safely." Well, and she pointed something. out like it is interesting. The wife wasn't like he's been missing for a year, and the police have no lead. She was like. He is missing, so if someone could just tell me where he is, I think he's going by a new name. Like, I need him to pay his child support. Also, is she going to do a follow-up Facebook post? Are we going to get more info? Is he going to respond? Let's let's hope, right? Uh, I just I, I saw this and I was like, this is the world we live in these days. Everything's too connected. You can't. Uh, I was talking to someone recently about. Um, we were talking about the idea of cancel culture and because it's as a topic, it you hear the word or the phrase so much that it starts to mean nothing the more you hear it but gone are the days where you could just like if something bad like if you did something bad you could just pick up and move and start over 
You can't really do that anymore in the age of the internet, unless you live your life completely offline. And even then, especially if the law was involved, there isn't really a way to just pick up and try to start over somewhere else. Your, your past and your choices or what people uh, perceive to be your choices based on whatever narrative there is around whatever you may have done, may or may not have done, will follow you wherever you go. It's interesting. Like there's not really a way around that. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.